Uh, properties go. I still have it. It's horrible. It was a condo. I paid cash in 2007 in Chicago and thought I was living the dream. And it was, it's, it's the worst thing. I, it's a, that was my worst deal I've ever done. Uh, however, uh, I bought a duplex. Uh, that was my next purchase that I moved into. And then instead of selling the condo, I started renting that out. And then we had the other unit. So all of a sudden I was like, I'm a landlord. You just got to bring them on one by one. So, you know, you bring in on a CPA and he's going to know someone for bookkeeping and they're going to know a good real estate lawyer. And then that guy gets you attached to someone. So as soon as you start bringing in team members, just keep building. I mean, your team is your first system, so you have to build that. Um, but if, if you stink at something, don't do it. Just there's, you know, we all gravitate to what we're great at. And the biggest takeaway, if anyone's listening to this, is... <laughs> You need to know who you are first as an investor before you even consider what type of investment to get into. Now, you'll hear, hear people that say, oh, stay laser focused. Well, t you're telling me who is someone who does not stay laser focused, nor am I good at it, or, or handling details to do that. That doesn't make sense. I'm a multitasker. You know, women typically tend to be multitaskers more so than, than men. So, and I find this too with um, some of my female investor friends.